I've been in this business for more than 10 years, and I get this question almost every day. What is an HID metal halide light? Well, the film industry refers to this as HMI. And HMI is a trademark of Osram GmbH. Although this lighting technology is more than 30 years old, it is unfamiliar to many in the video industry. This is primarily because of the very high cost of these lights. But now that's changed. There are very affordable HID HMI lights from Alzo Video. So what is an HID metal halide light? Well, first of all, HID stands for high intensity discharge, or in other words, an arc lamp. And metal halides are metal salts. Well, you're probably wondering now, what do metal salts have to do with making light? Well, an HID light is produced by an electronic arc in a high pressure gas mixture of argon, mercury, and a variety of metal halides, which are metal salts. This mixture of metal salts in exact proportions operating at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit will produce light output with desired color temperatures. An electronic ballast is required to start the arc and then maintain a constant power in the arc to produce a stable color temperature. In all cases, the ballast is matched to the bulb. There are three types of ballast for HID lights. The first is a magnetic ballast, and then there is a low frequency square wave and a high frequency electronic. Only high frequency electronic ballasts are suitable for video production, as the other ballasts can cause flickering. There is a misconception about HID lights producing excessive ultraviolet radiation. Now this is true of an unprotected HID bulb, but a dual envelope with an inner HID bulb and an outer shell like this Alzo HID produce almost no UV light and much, much less than the sun. The pros for an HID light are, well, they're very high efficiency light sources and they produce minimal heat. They have a very long bulb life of between 5,000 to 10,000 hours. And they have very low power consumption, or about one sixth of a tungsten light. They mix really well with daylight with no or minimal color correction filtering. And they're also an excellent light source for the RED camera. Now the cons for an HID, they're not easily dimmable. They have a four to six minute warm up to a stable color temperature, and they have a four to six minute cool down before they can be restarted. So what is an HID metal halide light? Well, we believe that it is the best light source for video production. It is a high efficiency, bright light source that produces minimal heat. The bulbs have a very long burn life and the light mixes very easily with daylight. And as many of you already know, this is Hollywood's preferred light source. Monochrome red and green light emitting diodes, or LEDs, have been in general use for more than 40 years. But the high brightness white LED is a relatively recent technology and is now being used on set. A white LED is a semiconductor device and the light is produced in a method similar to a fluorescent light. The LED is a blue ultraviolet emitting diode covered with a phosphor coating. A ballast driven DC electric current generates the blue UV light and this is converted to white light by the process of fluorescence. The color temperature of the light is determined by the mixture of phosphors and also the manufacturing quality. This is a visible light spectrum of a daylight white LED. Notice the strong blue light produced by the LED. This section here is the light produced by the mixture of phosphors and determines the color temperature of the LED. There are two color temperatures of quote white LEDs available and they are daylight white and warm white. Daylight white can have a color temperature range of between 5,000 degrees Kelvin and 7,000 degrees Kelvin. 
Unfortunately, most warm white LEDs are not 3200 degrees Kelvin and typically have very poor color rendering quality. Color temperatures can vary widely in a batch of LEDs and more expensive LEDs have better color temperature control. Beware, as some manufacturers claim their products are 5600 degrees Kelvin. We have tested many of these lights from several manufacturers and have found them to be very blue, with color temperatures almost 7000 degrees Kelvin. LEDs are small, low power devices, and any usable video production light will employ hundreds of these LEDs. These LEDs are arranged in an array, and an undiffused light source will produce step shadows as shown in this display. There are high powered white LEDs with one to three watts of output power. But I find that many small low power LEDs produce better illumination than a few high powered LEDs. Some manufacturers are using monochrome red, green, and blue LEDs to generate white light and to allow for color control. I personally don't like the daylight color rendering of these light sources. Although they are very effective in generating color effects, I prefer white LEDs for daylight color rendering. So now let's compare the pros and cons of white LEDs as light sources. The pros. White LEDs have a very long bulb life of between 50,000 to 100,000 hours. They have very low power consumption, that's about one-tenth of an incandescent light. Because of the low power, there's a tremendous potential for battery operation. They're instant on and they have no warm-up. They're easily dimmable, but they do have a slight color shift. And they mix well with daylight with minimal color correction filtering. And now the cons. They're relatively high cost per lumen, and they can produce step shadows as we've demonstrated. To summarize the lighting technology choices, let's compare all four technologies. The first thing you will notice is that the tungsten incandescent has the worst score. It wastes energy, gets real hot, and does not render color very accurately. The other three light technologies have similar ratings so it's difficult to say that one of them is the best choice. If you're concerned about mixing with daylight, we have to recommend HID metal halide. Fluorescent lights have the advantage of easy bulb changes for color temperature selection of 5600 degrees Kelvin and 3200 degrees Kelvin. And LEDs are the most energy efficient and they have the longest life, so therefore they will have the least impact on the environment. This concludes Seminar 1, Lighting Technology Choices. Some viewers may be wondering how we could compare lighting technologies without ever mentioning CRI. Well, watch our Seminar Series 2, CRI or Color Rendering Index, to find out why CRI is useless. Also, please watch Seminar 3, Mixing Light Sources and Color Correction. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us as follows.